As per my experience in learning about Neville Goddard's lectures on manifestation, I have found out that many of us perform the imagined acts, affirm our desired state, and get the results. But, among us, there are a few people who fail to see the results they wish for. All of this happens because of one thing. To be honest, I too don't get any results when I manifest a few of my desires. It is because of this main reason that I have found myself. This reason is enough to open your eyes and look internally at yourself if you too are not getting the results you wanted. This is double-mindedness. When you are double-minded, you fail to get whatever you desire as your mind is always fluctuating between the two states of being. Many people are confused about their desires. In this confusion, instead of seeking any clarity, they affirm one thing, and after a few hours, they are focused on something else. This drastically switches the state of wishes being fulfilled, and like a pendulum, they go from left to right again and again. Being double-minded is the one thing that won't get you anything. Almost all of the videos and lectures you come across about manifestation, be they Neville Goddard's teachings or law of attraction concepts, all talk initially about getting clear about what you desire. Clarity is the most important thing when it comes to manifestation. The man who lacks clarity lacks the ability to manifest. It is because manifestation is a technology where a single-pointed focus is required. It is a tool where your attention has to be focused on one thing only. When your focus is dominated by that one thing, you give birth to what your mind imagined in the past. It is now physical, and you can now experience it with your physical senses. But if the man is unclear about what he wants, then he is just acting like a sculptor who starts working on his art piece, and after doing it for a few moments, he breaks it into pieces. Suppose you wanted to manifest a specific person. You are required to get into the state of having your wish fulfilled. You have to make this your dominant state. Now what does it mean? Well, I simplified it in yesterday's video. But, to summarize it right now, it simply means imagining from the place of already having your specific person with you. What would you do, feel, have, and experience when you were already in a relationship with the person of your dreams? How would your weekends be like? How would you sleep? Will you wrap your arms around them while sleeping? Or will you continue to sleep alone on your bed? You know these answers, right? Now, don't go and take actions in physical reality. As it is dead, it is just your past imagined scenes. Go internally, imagine yourself experiencing the things that you would experience once you have your desire with you. What would be the natural scenario for you? Is it like hugging them when they come back to your home? Is it like watching Netflix and cuddling? What is it for you? Now let's say a person is unclear about whether he wants a relationship or not. Would start assuming the state of a wish fulfilled by imagining those scenes. But since he is unclear, after a few hours, he would go back to the place of being single. He would start calculating the pros of being single. He would look at his life from the perspective of a person who is single. And in doing so, he is breaking the art piece he created a few hours ago. Instead of completing it, he broke it down and started creating another art piece, being a single person. Like this, all the double-minded people are not utilizing their manifesting ability. By changing their minds every moment, they are changing the world in which they live. By doing it repeatedly, they are misusing their power to manifest and are stuck in the loop of not experiencing their desire. Now, what is the solution to this? Well, whenever I get double-minded, before sleeping for a few minutes, I close my eyes and ask this question internally. Without referring to any form or shape, I ask, tell me what should I do, or help me decide between them. Then I go to sleep. I have faith that the answer will come, and it does. I use this for many things. Recently, I had some video editing projects. I couldn't find a tool that would help me with this. Upon searching for it many times, I wasn't able to find it. But then one night I closed my eyes and said, please help me in finding the appropriate tool for this project. Then I fell asleep, and the next day, I accidentally opened some playlists on my YouTube account, and there was the complete video about a technique by which, with the use of two software programs, I could create exactly what I was looking for. So, you can use this for clarity, trust me, it works. This world is ready to give you whatever you want. But the real question is, have you asked for what you want clearly? Have you assumed the state and persisted in it? Have you done it again and again until it becomes a dominant state within you? You very well know the answers to these questions. You can lie to me and to this world, but you cannot lie to yourself. It is never about the physical manifestation. It is always about changing your internal state. As you change your internal state, things happen. So, I hope this video has helped you in many ways. Subscribe, as I post these videos regularly. I will meet you with another golden nugget. Happy manifesting!